When we heat up a solid, the particles near the heat source start vibrating vigorously. The collisions increase. As the particles collide with the next ones, they transfer their kinetic energy to the next particles. The average kinetic energy of the solid keeps increasing. This method of heat transfer through collisions is called conduction. Dominant method of heat transfer in fluids, that is, liquids and gases, is convection. Thermal energy is transferred through convectional currents. Convection is the usual way that heat travels through liquids and gases. Always remember, convection only occurs in fluids. Convection cannot happen in solids. Convection currents must always be described in terms of temperature changes that result in density changes. A convection stream can be produced whether the temperature is rising or falling. Think of a pan filled with water. There is a heat source at the bottom. As the heat is transferred from the bottom of the pan to the liquid particles, they vibrate, collide and move further apart. Because of their high kinetic energy, the water moves to the top as its density decreases. Colder density water takes up its place at the bottom. There is a cycle created which keeps going till all the water is at the same temperature. This is how convection current is set up.